Okay, this is a uh, free first, you would say, getting ready to do channeling online lesson and uh, uh, basically basically all the uh, channeling lessons uh, which are online, uh, I'll be just guiding you, teaching you, describing you uh, how to do channeling, what's channeling actually, what channeling actually is and what symptoms, signs, energy, feelings, uh, strangeness, uh, uh, common first entities, um, uh, guided channeling meditations, uh, channeling energy meditations and uh, understanding how energy and how channeling actually works together uh, when, when you actually do the channeling yourself. So basically uh, this channeling, channeling school I called Enrico School is divided into uh, into three levels. Uh, the first level is uh, informational basis uh, and a few meditations. Informational basis, few meditations, which is basically five lessons, uh, including this one. Uh, it's basically for free. Uh, the, the one lesson is for free. Uh, why channeling costs and why learning channeling costs uh, uh, five to ten euros one lesson is basically because uh, I, uh, when I asked the entities, uh, the beings, the Enrico, how should we bas basically do this, he said that uh, you have to ask money for this, otherwise it will be against free, law, free will. Uh, because uh, actually those people who are ready and they will and they from their self want to learn channeling or start doing this or explore what this is by like giving a donation, giving something uh, means that they actually really want to do this. Otherwise they will accept it as uh, as nothing and it, not like as nothing but uh, they will not uh, uh, they will not give the allowance uh, you would say to learn, the allowance to study and uh, just by giving a donation means that they from their own free will and their own desire uh, allow this to happen, allow this to learn. Uh, so also, uh, also uh, uh, definitely I would want to go abroad and teach channeling lessons also to somebody else, uh, somewhere else to a group of people because in present it's much more easier, uh, much more easier, much more energizing when, when we all, all are in one group. So uh, Five lessons, introduction, uh, uh, different types of en energy beings, uh, how does actually channeling happen and how can you improve your skills to go channeling, uh, strong energy meditation, guided, uh, guided, uh, guided meditation, strong energy meditation and guided energy meditation. So this is the first level. The second level is basically entering other worlds, entering other dimensions, entering uh, other beings and connecting with other different types of beings. This is for the sake of uh, feeling the difference between energies, uh, receiving different energies, understanding different energies, understanding different feelings and so on and so on. Uh, so at the third level we will be connecting to your spirit guides, connecting to your beings, connecting to your uh, other entities. Uh, it will be a guided meditation step by step with more detailed information, more detailed questions and more specific. The reason is why you need all four first five classes is basically when you start receiving energies, when you start doing channeling in the second and third level is basically understanding, hey, what's going on, what's going on, so you get you, you get the answers to all like a thousand other questions that can come up uh, to you particularly. Uh, so uh, the reason is why only you can enter the second level is when you have the all five uh, classes uh, went through at the, at the beginning. So you can enter the second level only when you have gone through all the first level courses. So in this video I will be uh, describing, telling uh, uh, more detailed, more specifically uh, how do we do it and what, what do we actually learn in uh, channeling lessons when I teach others channel in Latvia, uh, in our, my group, in our people groups. Uh, so let's get more detailed into the channeling itself. Uh, now in the first separation, the first absolute separation which I would love to separate is uh, channeling is not uh, telling what the first idea comes in your mind, uh, but 
we use this as a lesson in our groups we use this as a as a entering the channeling state i would say entering and getting more closer to the channeling state uh, channeling is and happens through sensations is and happens through feelings as i call it is and happens through energetical telepathical uh energy receivings uh so the difference is basically many many also in our groups we use this method of letting what happens first in your mind letting what comes first in your mind we use this as a, as a tool to relax your mind to calm down your mind to like get in the flow getting a move getting a move and then we amplify energies a little bit and then we okay mind calm down mind calm down and then we lower into energies you lower into feelings you lower into your beingness you lower into your beingness which is basically the, uh, as i call it the zero point the zero point where basically your individuality steps off and you get direct energy contact and more direct energy contact through feelings now this is this part we will do in the second level we start to do in the second level of enrico school so uh, the first level is about uh, understanding what's channeling and starting to receive energies uh, the second level is about guiding energies uh, from the top to the down left right in out and also the second level uh, has meditations like third eye meditations uh, uh, healing meditations with palms reading energies with uh, your your fingers your palms uh, it also has guided meditations entering other worlds and so on and so on so uh, also about channeling how does and when can you sense when channeling is actually happening happening the first symptoms are, are you get dizzy uh, your head starts starting to get dizzy uh, this uh, channeling comes uh, many many uh, spiritual whatever lessons teachings whatever uh, books say that we have seven chakras the first through the law seventh uh, we have eighth which is here and we have also nine ninth which is here and basically something above ninth is in other dimensions uh, but the eighth is basically sun right here and you can sometimes feel it as a tunnel like this and the ninth is a little bit higher like a half meter and meter higher it's basically something you would say a cloud white energy which when you can feel it goes interdimensional uh, so above that you will not feel anything other than a huge tunnel uh, and we also have uh, minus or, or a zero chakra which basically is a little bit lower below your first chakra it's basically an energy center which helps you to receive uh, energies that are below uh, below you energies that are uh, you would say earth energies earth energies are in the sensations when you receive earth energy uh, your all nerve systems your all nerve system etheric channels completely relaxes they like and you, you just feel like you want to go to sleep you feel peaceful peaceful now uh, when people when we do meditation channeling meditations uh, channeling itself uh, you have to understand about human energies and that's why we do uh, that's why we do uh, guided energy meditations and that's why we do also uh, amplifying energy so channeling comes from above channeling comes from above so that's why you see many lotus positions like this crossed legs uh, hands like this 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 uh, meaning we little bit block the first centers so that we can receive an uh, uh, energy from above from the higher centers but in channeling it happens in even more detail the more deeper we block also our palm centers uh, like we're doing this but this is not something that we do as a practice <laughs> this is uh <laughs> it's like always when i do this the enrico starts coming his energy starts coming uh, this is not this we do as a practice but this is when the channeling starts you can get quickly notified this you, you hold hands like this 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 and when channeling itself happens you, your hands will instantly go like this 
Uh, and what this does from uh, from the other beings perspective, other worlds perspective, and from human body energy perspective is that uh, when you do this, your energy gets blocked and your energy amplifies, creating a higher resonance. You know, like you put two wires together, they're like, and you let, let them go, and they're like, okay, everything is okay. And you put together. So it's what well, the idea is: you cro you fix your energies like this, cross your legs, cross your fingers, and your energy gets blocked. Energy gets uh, like two wires put together, and like your energy resonance gets higher, higher and higher, and this helps you in getting um, in receiving energy, in receiving energy, and getting more in contact with other beings. So basically, uh, this is just a notification when your hands put like this together. That's basically channeling uh, already channeling happening. Uh, but uh, there's a, a a little thing that uh, which I wanted to tell. Also, yeah, that uh, the hands start also many times ha hands start to move like this, and also many people who start entering channeling they start to feel like moving, like floating, like moving, like floating. It's only because uh, they need to have more relaxation, need to have more relaxation, and. Uh, also, when you put hands like this, the hands also will start moving, also will start moving. And one time I asked him, go, why is this? Why, like, uh, I'm not moving my hands, they're moving by itself. Why do you do this? And he said, basically, it's uh, energy aligning, energy aligning, energy aligning. So basically, they up there in the other uh, dimension, under reality energy dimension, they are doing the same. They're doing the same and they're getting notified. If my body is doing the same, that means we're in linked. We're in linked, they feel how I'm moving and they also feel how they are moving. They, they are in a floating link. Uh, but if, for example, in one case, uh, my hand is not moving and they are moving, that means like, hey, they're losing connection. But this doesn't mean like, uh, this doesn't mean always that like this, it just means always you can, uh, like movement alignment, movement alignment. Uh, floating in one uh, on one length, you would say. Also, we can say this is an antenna that amplifies your antenna, and here. But there are many many things that go, uh, that uh, many lessons, many things. And uh, I just I have my own lessons that I teach to others, and there are others who already are channelers, already are already communicating with past people, you mean dead people, and already are receiving higher and higher energy. Uh, like consciousness, understanding what's consciousness. So, what is channeling in my particular area, which I do and which I teach others to channel? Channeling is uh, a way of your spiritual growth. Channeling is a way of you understanding the more of who you are. Channeling is like a sense, in a sense, also uh, a spiritual uh, study, discovering yourself, spiritual understanding yourself. Uh, channeling is what I think. It's not about uh, communicating with uh, other higher beings and then giving a detailed information. Okay, this, 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 uh, this happened because this, 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 this. Channeling is about understanding other beings, understanding other energies, understanding other dimensions, and putting all this into you, uh, so your consciousness can grow by understanding what is it, what is it all about, what is the life all about, and so you can give uh, the information, understanding you gain to others, like you would say wisdom, like you would say understanding higher understanding also nevertheless there are there this is the most common figure where uh, people start uh, who start to do channeling they start to give also consultations about not like give consultations people start to ask them can you like help me I'm having difficulties with this and this I have these difficulties with this and that can you give me like a consultation uh, like what do the beings above say about this what do the beings above think about this so can you like help me and this is also a really common uh, figure and also what I noticed also those who start channeling uh, they uh, start re receiving messages also from the dead people who have passed away, who have gone away and they are like, okay, we want to talk, we want to give like this and this message to this and that person and they're like becoming a medium's medium or however or whatever you can use the word. We can also use the word messenger from other dimensions. And uh, so uh, Let's now get through the most common uh, symptoms of the channeling. Uh, first is dizzy head. Uh, second is you can feel uh, 
tightness in your throat, uh, but this fades out. This is basically those who have a religious belief system uh, and they have their own fear-based belief systems and then they start to uh, feel this tighten the neck, tighten the neck. This is basically uh, just an energy symptom. Energy in the channeling comes from the above, through your mind. Uh, when your mind uh, is active and as I say tight, uh, your mind and your uh, head can hurt and you can get all kinds of dizzy feelings in your head like whoa uh, on feelings like unreal and unexciety and so on and so on and so on this is just the symptoms whenever you have this whenever you feel this it you you have to have fresh air fresh water and don't think about meditations and channeling uh, for a while for a while you don't even think about it uh, let your energies balance out let your energies clear out uh, and get back to your feet because the physical body is not yet uh, or to many of people the physical body is not even capable of receiving highest energy receiving more energy it's like many people think okay I want to receive higher energy like give me all the maximum energy that there is and it's like okay stop 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 you versically if you think like this your mind is not even ready to receive this energy your physical body you don't even want to know how it feels when you receive too much energy and secondly as uh, thirdly uh, your understanding is not ready uh, to receive the higher energy so basically even before you start receiving energy you have to have these three uh, points which is basically physical readiness to receive higher energy ethical body uh, energy uh, energy meaning like uh, getting through higher and higher energy well basically this is also the same physical then your mental understanding is like your understanding with your mind understanding with your the physical mind which you have like this is this this is that it has to also uh, be com comfortably sure about what is channeling what's going on in channeling so it doesn't create a shocks uh, panic attacks and you like uh, straight to the how you say uh, crazy house where they put crazy people under drugs and they, they walk like crazy so basically uh, you have to have a mental understanding and wisdom with mentally what's going on but this is not like something okay I read a book I know what's channeling this is basically when channeling actually starts you have to have the basic understanding of what's actually going on otherwise you will get like stressed worried and you get uh, like fears panic attacks and everything so basically what I mean is that also you have to have a mental uh, readiness and then the fifth is uh, you have to have a spiritual awareness spiritual understanding what's going on it's like not from the mind but from the, the spiritual point of view it's like you have the understanding you have the own inner energy that understands that there are other worlds understands that you are the one expressing as all that is and you have to understand the higher and higher but not like understand okay I know what this is but feel it understand it otherwise it will be like a higher entity came to you from uh, let's say world of light and you will have a uh, huge shock so like oh man oh everything is this everything that I have never thought of about this and all, all that so the symptoms are dizzy head uh, pain in the head also and uh, tight in the throat and the uh, third is also when your nerve canals are not ready nerve channels electric body is not ready and you you the energy comes through your heart uh, you can get like a uh, heartbeat uh, unwritten like your heartbeat starts pumping like crazy and starts popping in uh, his own direction whatever and sometimes you can feel it as a pain as pinching feelings in your heart and so on and so on many times this is also emotions stuck in your physical body but we will talk about emotions in another lesson uh, another lesson we will talk truly which is etric physical body etric body energy body and light body uh, and this is the absolute uh, needed lesson to have so but this is another lesson which is not yet created it will be posted in the Rico school and uh, so in your heart you have to pay attention don't overdose channeling when it's with your heart starting with your heart well this is not the all will go through these experiences this is that some will go through of this experience some will go of that experience I have I have seen also people who learn channeling here in Latvia that they basically they are through uh, they are freely channelers they receive channeling information golden yellow light they start coming through receiving energies but when it comes to 
their mind, they're like tightening their mind. What was this? What did they want it to say? Uh, and so on and so on and so on. And they, when going more deeper into channeling, their head just starts hurting like crazy. And uh, then they have this migraine, migraine in Latvian, I don't know, in English, so it's basically uh, strong headaches. It's like, yeah, your mind is too tight, but it will let go. You just uh, pause on the chanting and meditation until your mind receives the understanding to just let it go. Your brain, neurons in your brain just uh, start to let go. When your neurons are tight like this, energy comes through and just blasts your physical brain open. Like in um, your, uh, in physical terms, I would say, the, the brain itself uh, gets a little bit wider, like one millimeter in diameter. And if your neurons are stressed, tight, and strictly connected with your, your brain muscles, you'll just feel incredible pain in you. So you have to have a free mind also. And uh, the, the next thing in channeling is the stomach. Uh, stomach, the solar plexus chakra, third chakra called whatever you wish. Uh, it, it's the emotional center, it's where the energy feelings come through, it's where the energy starts rotating, rotating, rotating as, uh, for example, people who have fears or people who have uh, like dense energy with them, they will feel all kinds of strange feelings in their stomach. Uh, this is the center, energy comes through and to your center and then you start receiving information telepathically through your feelings. You will like have the feelings how it is actually happening. Uh, and uh, with different entities, there are different centers, energy centers that start becoming active. Uh, for some it's first center, for some it's heart, for some it's top of the head, for some it's stomach, depending on the entity which you are channeling with. Uh, but this will be another video of varieties of entities which will, I'll create uh, and post on the Enrico School uh, later. So. Uh, this is just uh, the common things that uh, the channeler experiences, the channel experiences. Now the next next thing is when you s receive your first channeling, when you receive your first uh, telepathical communication with another dimensional being, is that you can get uh, huge tears, you just like cry like crazy. Uh, some people may have uh, huge fears that come out like fears, fears, fears. The thing is, when your energy is amplified, when your energy is amplified, the energy comes in you and cleans out all the energy, physical energy which you have inside of you, giving you a more taste of that energy, giving you more uh, feeling of that energy, giving you more understanding of that energy, uh, which basically means that you are becoming more aware of those energies, more aware of those energies because they're becoming active, active. And your job as a channeler is just to observe them, uh, don't deny them, don't accept them, just observe them from your being, just observe them from your being. And when I asked Enrico, how is this? He said, basically, understand, uh, imagine a pyramid which is upside down. Here is your observer on the lower end, observer, this is who you are. This is who you actually are. This is your observer. This is the one that observes, observes. And he observes emotions. And he observes the mind activity. And also energy, which is on top. But uh, as an observer, uh, to keep your balance, you keep a perfect balance between the mind in emotions and yourself. Whenever, and you are always observing, you have a perfect balance. When you lose the point of observing, you can have a total out of balance. And then you get, your mind can get like crazy. What's going on? What's going on? What's this? And what's that? Keep your focus that you are just observing uh, more intense energies, more intense energies. This is just a part of you. This is just a, a part you are observing. This is just not you. This is just the energy that you are observing. And uh, then what happens is what I have noticed to many people is like, uh, well, changes start to happen. Uh, changes in their personal life, changes in their relationships, uh, changes in all types of fields. Doesn't mean like changes in complete 180 degrees, but it means like changes also in their perspective of what is world, perspective of what happened before and why it happened before. And I have noticed to some they change their job, go away from their job, 
start uh, finding life within within them and more nature more spirituality and also they're becoming more aware of talking to the trees and flowers they feel more of the surrounding things but the most important thing which i notice is they're becoming more expanded more wi wiser and more with wisdom some of them uh, start receiving messages from higher beings uh, and they're just like tears and tears and tears and understanding and understanding how everything is loved everything is loved and uh, some of them have more yellow like energy which means basically they're becoming more and more exciting personalities they're becoming more and more uh, joyful excited and they can laugh and talk with each and everybody completely freely and uh, some of them become intellectuals and some of them who have too tight mind or uh, like inner energies they go through the changes as like uh, as like going through fears going through understanding going through um, they would say many many steps where their energies the old energy is just coming up and they need to have changes in their life otherwise to go uh, to go ahead uh, forward so to do actually channeling you have to have your own free will your own free will uh, to do so to study this uh, to like learn this uh, to become a channeler and so on and so on um, my methods as i have I've seen uh, from others uh, I don't like to hurry but you can hurry depends on what sh what person you are but my mm, most important lesson is don't hurry too much don't go uh, don't go two steps one step at a time because many many what I have also also seen is that many understand the channeling is something okay I will receive uh, technical uh, drawings of some kind of a free energy device I will have all the answers, everything I will need, I can help other people, I can save the world and so on. It's nothing about that. Channeling is about discovering yourself, uh, discovering your own blockages. The blockage is itself that you want to find and uh, create free energy device. This is the blockage itself from understanding that life just is. Life just is. Don't like interrupt it, don't interrupt it. And also helping others, uh, others need help. It's also a crazy idea because everything is perfect everything's perfect the only thing you can do is discover more of who you are and showing and expressing this creativity who you are for others to learn for others to study from you so basically you don't need to do and help any other and also you don't need to help others uh, until they ask you for support for help so basically uh, otherwise you'll be going against the free will and like pushing up your belief systems pushing up your ideas pushing up your whatever you may call it energies uh, and it can create all kinds of uh, against the wall feelings, against the wall situations. So you don't have to do this. Uh, and the uh, end of the video, uh, how then the channeling happens is basically when we talked about these levels go through and then the energy comes in your solar chakra and uh, it goes through all your body then and uh, for example if a joyful being comes to you and in your channeling uh, lessons if a joyful joyful being comes to you you will feel joy if an intellectual being comes to you you will feel intellect intellect rising of intellect if a loving being comes to you you will start to feel loving and loving feelings uh, and also my, many times i have heard that oh you have to go only to the white light uh, go to the white light nowhere else just huge love and so on there is much more to learn than only the white light. Uh, there is much, much more from human to learn only the white light. It has to. You have to learn as a professional channeler when you want to do this. You have to learn, and you have, and you will go through uh, basically all the colors there is: black, white, yellow, golden, green, blue, uh, cloud white, uh, and so on and so on. Orange also, many varieties and uh, distinct colors as they are. Uh, to learn the uh, purple and violet also uh, and red and just and brown also just to learn the uh, differences between the colors differences between the energies uh, so that you can use it in your daily use it in your daily practices and daily understandings about all that is uh, and, and you will find the resonance in each of the world that you feel that is more common to you, more closer to you and also you will find the entity that there is your aspects, your soul aspects that there are that feel more common and common for you. When you will start to understand all these colors, all these worlds, you will start to understand the nature of your higher self and become more and more closer with the higher self. And you will also understand that 
what is that you truly want in this life and what is that you truly do not want in this life meaning that you will get more purer in your energies more clearer in your energies more understanding of who you actually are and doing this we actually are and by doing this you will you will start to receive higher and higher energy because there will be no energies that like reduce your energy no experiences that like block your energy and so on and so on so uh when you receive for example the loving beings energy your all energy starts feeling loving 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 and you just let the energies expand, let the energies get closer and closer and closer, and this means that your being, uh, your that being will can and can get closer to you. Uh, two energies uh, at the same energy length exist in the same time and space, same time and space. So basically, channeling is about learning energies and aligning, aligning two energies, aligning two energies. Uh, so in this Enrico Channeling School uh, we will learn and we will teach you uh, to do this, teach you to do channeling yourself and teach you all the um, basics about channeling, all the basics and uh, guide you in the channeling process yourself. Uh, so if you, if you have questions please ask right now. As usual no questions because actually there is nobody in this room to ask any questions other than me and uh, so uh, introduction to this is introduction to channeling the next important lesson will be uh, physical body ethical body energy body uh, the mind how it works you would say also the aura and uh, light body and what is light body and the the work through between all of these this is the information that Enrico has given to me and also about the blood system in human system uh, which uh, delivers energy to all parts of the body the next thing is variety variety with entities variety and how you can distinct entities beings and uh, lessons from them and from them and how you can understand what kind of beings coming to you uh, and so on and so on so basically just a variety entities so it doesn't you you will have the under, uh, understanding of what type of different entities actually there are uh, of course there are lots of more but basically we'll, we'll have the contrast of it and described of it is basically two hours of speech and the fourth is uh, strong energy meditation it's just for you to receive energy guide energy navigate energy up and down left and right uh, so you that can you so you can feel energy have energy guide energy and when channeling happens you will feel the same energy again that goes up and down left and right uh, so you can if it gets too much you can feel it close it uh, and breathe it out uh, send energy out so you don't have it so you don't have to worry about having too much energy you will always feel where there's too much energy and you can loosen this energy guide this energy out and so on and so on and the fifth one is guided meditation um, well, I'll be guiding you uh, in a deeper meditation uh, basically it will be something you call also no thought meditation and uh, then after these lessons we will start to go on the second level which basically uh, getting into channeling itself getting into channeling process itself uh, starting channeling yourself and third level is becoming a professional channeler basically what this means is that uh, all the techniques uh, when you are channeling an ent entity all the techniques, specifications, uh, detail information, how and what you can do to do it better, to do it uh, and also different entities like past ones, uh, dead ones, uh, other world from golden, yellow world, uh, white world, white energy world, would say, white energy light, light world you would say and so that your body can have the contrast of those energies, your energy body like for example uh, if you channel, for example, a past uh, who has died, a, per, a being uh, who has died here, it has a different energy. Some, sometimes you would say disgusting energy, but also some people have really beautiful energy. That's just that just the difference. But this energy difference, your physical body will feel really strongly. It will feel really strongly. And also, a being from absolute light, presence, world of presence, heaven, we say also has a completely also different energy and you can get more intense more intense you get loving feelings but 
completely opposite of those two and also an alien basically which is a physical uh, physical being there are different physical beings also which is also uh, high energy and different energy and also you can get uh, different feelings so your physical body in the second level and especially in the third level we have a variety of these different energies other for you to become more uh, let's say energy ready energy ready because if you jump into five different entities sometimes you can get so dizzy you know like oh my god what's going on what's going on and so on and we will lower higher also lower into detailed or higher into detailed about the higher beings and uh, the next video which I will be creating will be uh, the variety of entities, uh, different uh, beings of entities uh, from the physical to spiritual to light and to higher self and grasping the difference between those two. And uh, our website where you can learn this is uh, www.artlineoffline.peace.info and you just click on the UK flag, English flag on the right side and you, you have the whole website in English and then you just go on the top, the Enrico School and then you just check out the videos which are in English language English lessons and uh, you can participate in, in the lessons so uh, if there are questions sign up in the website art of, <laughs> artlineoffline.info sign on in the forum, sign on questions and answers, write me there uh, because many people write on the YouTube channel, basically I'm not using the YouTube channel, I'm just uh, posting videos there, I'm using like a video database. But uh, you write on the forum and we can talk about forum and basically the forum is created for the other people who also channel that they can talk about. So share their experiences, have their experiences and uh, uh, have a beautiful group of people who like support you and give you advices. And uh, so thank you for watching and I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, share this video if you wish and uh, I'll see you soon see you soon and good luck